Hey, you guys, this is your coach, Andrea Dickerson, here with IonTheDaycare.com, where we connect childcare business owners with proven management solutions. If you are a childcare business owner and you're looking for a proven solution to getting your parents involved in your childcare program, then I think that you should give this video a thumbs up because what I'm going to share with you is going to give you the reasons on why it's important to press through and push through all of the objections to parent meetings. And then I'm gonna teach you some of my strategies and what I've used to have a great participation from my parent base. I believe that if you're ready to improve your enrollment, increase your customer retention, and have your clients involved in your childcare program, which will essentially set you apart from others in your community, then I want you to stay tuned because I want for you to discover what I did to endure the test of time with my business all while keeping my parents involved. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. you guys so welcome back I told you guys earlier that in this video I'm gonna give you some proven techniques to keep your parents involved in your child care program along with me learning how to keep my parents involved in my child care program I withstood the test of time and that's why I want to make sure that you understand the importance of keeping your parents involved in your child care program now what are some of the setbacks to parents getting involved well number one you may be experiencing the fact that parents don't show up or you may be experiencing the fact that parents don't want to show up. Like, even if you gave them free food, like, they still would not show up. Um, you may be facing the fact that um, your parents just don't seem into it anymore. Like, that's not something that they're feeling into. Well, listen, you guys, I have had to deal with all of those objections. But I truly believe that when my business began to experience a shift, that having parent meetings and staying connected to my parents is what truly caused my business to remain successful. So I'm gonna give you just one simple scenario that happened. A few months ago, my business went through this test of time of social media from a disgruntled employee. And my parents saw it. And because of that, I believe that my parent base maintained the majority of my parents due to the fact that they were connected to me, they were connected to my school, they were connected to the things that were happening in my child care programs. And because of that, I may have lost about 20 clients, but for the most part, most of my parents stayed connected to me because of the reasons I'm gonna give you today. So I wanna give you some behind the scenes to me teaching this same program to other child care business owners in my local area. As you guys know, I coach and I provide live coaching events um, and this year is called Jumpstart My Child Care. And you can find out more about it by logging on to jumpstartmychildcare.com. Get you a ticket and meet me live. So I'm going to give you a little bit of sneak peek or what we call behind the scenes of me in a live event coaching others through mentoring and inspiration and giving these same key tips. So I'm going to give you step one. Then I'm going to tie you into the live event. You're going to hear me teach step one and then we're going to go to step two and then you're going to go back into the live event and hear me teach step two but one of the reasons why i believe that it is so important that you have 
positive events for parents is because of word of mouth. You know, my business has grown so much because somebody said, well, have you heard about Akiba? Have you checked out Akiba? A girl, go check out Akiba. And let me tell you guys something. Because of word of mouth, I know that my business has been built. And because of that, negative word of mouth and positive word of mouth are both powerful. However, by you having parent events that keep them involved, it begins to change the perception of what the negative word of mouth may be and then parents begin to have a positive encounter with you and it's one of the most powerful marketing tools so let me take you behind the scenes of me teaching about one of the most powerful marketing tools there are all right i'll be right back so um the purpose for today's presentation is to talk about keeping parents involved and i want to give you guys some real-time reasons on why i think that this opportunity which i thank you for so much is on time for me. Well, in the last 60 days, I did a major shift of employees. So you're looking at two directors or two program administrators, a program director, and every single teacher that I've hired within the last four years leaving my facility. But this is why I believe this opportunity for me to talk about how to keep your parents involved is going to talk to you and give you proof on how when we keep our parents involved, it really sustains your business along the way. So Akiba Academy generally cares for 100, Akiba Academy and The Rock together, generally cares for about 150 to 175 children every single day. And during this time of the shift that we went through, we did have 20 children leave our program. But I wanna tell you that I sat down and I thought about it and I was trying to figure out where did I go wrong with those 20 clients? Like, why did they leave? And as I began to think about it, I thought about all of the opportunities that I've given my parents to stay connected and involved in my program, how those parents never left. The parents that stayed connected to my program, attended my parent meetings, or we had like our parent fun nights. Parents that attended our fun nights, or stay connected to our parent meeting, they didn't leave. But the ones that never showed up to the parent conferences, never showed up to the parent meetings, you, you couldn't offer them free food to show up. Those were the parents that moved on. So I'm standing here today and I'm gonna give you a few of my tips and strategies that I've used. And I believe now that they are what has sustained me throughout this big transition. Number one, again, like I don't work in my facilities every single day. So now they're having to come and hear from somebody that doesn't work in their facility every single day. And some of my clients, like I don't know them. Like I could be walking in Walmart and they're like, oh, my kids go to your daycare. And I don't know that because I'm not in my school every day. But I believe that by having a major impact with having opportunities for my parents to be involved has kept our enrollment at a place where we're sustained. Can I get a witness? All right, so now that you guys got a chance to hear me talk about how powerful word of mouth is or the powerful things that you need to do in your business, the next thing that I want to do is to encourage you to meet me live on tour. I will be in Miami. I'm coming to you guys, Miami, Florida. You guys have called and requested. And we have started pre-selling tickets, and so we only have a few selected tickets left. We have people coming from all over the world, which is your benefit because now you you get to network network with people who you may not have the opportunity to network with before and get to know how people are doing business all over the world but specifically for our industry the child care industry so number two i want to talk about something really big on why you got to press your way and push through to have those parent meetings one of the most important reasons to having those parent meetings is because it builds relationships and relationships bring about residuals I'm gonna say that again. Relationships bring about residuals. When people know you, like you, and trust you, they will tell their friends, their friends will tell their friends, their friends will tell their friends. Now, I know that I look young, thank you guys so very much, but I have been in the child care industry for almost 20 years. And with 20 years under my belt, I have now had the opportunity to see children that I've taken care of 
their children. And then not only that, but children that were a part of my after school program when they were like 11 and 12 are now working for me. And so that le leads me to leave a legacy in my community, which is so big to me. So I want you guys to go on behind the scenes with me again and listen to the power of having relationships because relationships bring on residuals. All right, you guys, let's go. To market your business. And when you step out the box and make your parent involvement opportunities more about them, it positions you more as the expert. You are now seen as a help and not as just a place of babysitting services. All right, and so here is my next tip, you guys. I hope that you have been loving these tips so far. If you have, be sure to leave your comments below. Let me know if you've had any aha moments or if you're going to meet me out on the road. I'll be in Miami, and then we're headed to Los Angeles. Woo! So this is something new and exciting for the Island Daycare brand. But tickets are going fast, and everybody likes to get a be a part of what's new, what's happening, what's popping. And so, if you are liking the information that I'm selling so far, if you're feeling it, and if it's inspiring and motivating you, then you definitely don't want to miss my two-day event where I take you behind the scenes to management, marketing, and mindset that will help you truly manifest your child care dreams and goals. So, the last key point that I want to share with you guys is, and so... Number four, I want to talk to you about becoming a parent expert. You know, back in the days when your parents were growing up, there were certain things that they learned from their parents. And then it was certain things that their parents learned from their parents. And we grew up knowing that it takes a village to raise a child. And so we are that village that parents need. We are that modern day village that parents need. We're young, we're their age. Most of us are servicing parents that are possibly older than us or are the same age of us, of us or younger than us. However, it doesn't matter your age. The point I'm making is you are the expert. And when you have events that are full of content and information that would encourage your parents to show up, that is when you begin to position yourself as an expert. You know, so many parents really don't know what to do, but we are the child care professionals. We're the ones that go to school for this. We're the ones that take um, extended um, continuing ed classes. We're the ones. They're not taking those classes. And because we are the ones, this sets a standard of excellence in your business. This is going to empower your parents to know that there's a set of rules that children follow at home, and there's a set of rules that children follow while in child care. And so when you begin to position yourself as an expert by offering times where you and your parents can stay involved with each other through meetings, through family fun times, through coaching, through parent night, through um, classes, that is when you begin to position yourself as an expert. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed my tips today. I am going to be in Miami, Florida, May 27th and the 28th, and I want to see you there. Like this has been on me so much, and because it's been on me, I'm ready to release so much to you guys. I'm ready to help you position yourself as an expert. I'm ready to help you deal with the social media slander like I did. I had to deal with that in my business, and because I had to deal with the social media slander, it has caused me to be a better boss. It has has caused me to put better business systems in place. It has caused me to see things from a totally just different perspective and it has caused my business to actually grow with new staff members and um, imagine you just having to hire all new staff members. And that's exactly what I had to do, but by me doing so, it caused me to go to another level in my business. Many of you are holding yourself up because you may need to make some of the same shifts that I've made in my business, but you don't know how. So come out to Miami on May 27th and the 28th, and let me infuse you with information and content that will cause you to manifest your goals and your dreams and go to the next level. I cannot wait to see you guys there. Leave your comments below. Let me know if anything that I've said or talked today has hit home with you, if you understand it, if you agree, and even if you don't agree, because that's what makes us better. That's what makes us better child care business owners when we connect. So I want to connect with you guys. I cannot wait to read your comments. If you want to meet me in Miami, which I know you should, 
Be sure to go right now to www.jumpstartmychildcare.com. But you can also meet me in LA. It's going to be awesome, you guys. Thank you all so, so very much. And again, this is your coach, Andrea Dickerson, here with IonaDaycare.com, where we connect childcare business owners with proven management solutions. Bye, you guys.